access modifiers are used to specify the level at which each variable, function or object can be accessed within the application. And in C-sharp, we have five types of access modifiers. These are public, private, protected, internal and protected internal. So let us start with the first two, which are public and private. When class or members of that class are specified to be public, it means that they can be accessed by other functions and objects anywhere within the application. But on the other hand, members defined private can only be accessed within that class in which they are defined. Let us have a look at one example. So in here we see that we have created a class named person. This class has three member variables. The first name, last name and age. The first two variables are public variables, which means that we can access them from other classes as well. So in this case, we are going to access them from the program class. But the private one, which is the age property, cannot be accessed from outside this class. And then in here we have defined the constructor for this class. Let us now create an object from this class. To do that, we are going to write in here student is equal to new student. Provide some values in here. So now that we created the student object and then we assign the first name, last name and age, let us try to show these values to the users. So for that, let's use the console.writeLine method. We see that the first name variable is accessible from a student object because we have defined it as a public property. Let's do the same for the last name. And now let's see if we can do the same for the age variable. So if I type in here age, I will get an error which says student.age is not accessible due to its protection level. Which means that the age variable has been defined as a private variable, so it cannot be accessed from outside this class. But we have accessed it down here because we are inside this student class. Other than public and private, we said that we have the protected access modifier. Protected member variables and classes can only be accessed within the classes in which they are defined and inside the child classes. Now, this concept will be explained later. That's why I'm going to skip the demo from here. Because once we learn about the inheritance in an upcoming part, we are going to get back to the protected access modifier and to see how it works. So now let us talk about the internal access modifier. The internal access modifier is used to make variables and functions accessible within the assembly of the class in which they are defined. Let us have a look at the same example. So here let us change the public and private access modifiers to internal. So now we see that the age field is now accessible from another class. Now the reason why all these three variables are accessible from another class within the same file is because both the program class and the student class belong to the same assembly. The last access modifier is the protected internal access modifier, which is a combination of protected and internal modifiers. This means that the protected internal access modifier makes a variable accessible to the child classes that are inside the same assembly of the class in which they were actually defined. So guys, this is all for this part. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.